Thank you to Father and you're here with me, the Maori Wargamer. And today we'll be playing a Warhammer 40k battle report. Welcome, Fano, to this 50 power level Warhammer 40k battle report between the Space Wolves and the Crimson Slaughter Chaos Space Marines. Here in this uh, abandoned industrial sector on the planet of Atreus, home to the fate of the Atreus narrative campaign in which all my 40k content is set, are the Space Wolves ready themselves to go up against the Crimson Slaughter Renegade Space Marines. So we'll be playing the Eternal War Frontline Warfare Mission from Chapter Approved 2017. Uh, your forces have encountered the enemy along a contested border between your territory and theirs. It is imperative that you seize the disputed ground quickly while preventing your foe from crossing the border into your own lands. So all those forces in play on Atreus or uh, seeking dominance for control of the planet for its valued resources um, as well as its location to the Blackstone Fortress uh, in which my Blackstone Fortress videos are set in. Go ahead and watch them. I'll put a link in the description somewhere. Um, so we've got four objectives placed on the battlefield. One here in my deployment zone on the Fortress of Corruption. We have one here and one here and one up the top on the... Um, that Mechanicus terrain. Um, so objectives outside are worth two uh, victory points. Objectives in your own deployment zone are worth one and objectives in your enemy's zone are worth four uh, victory points as well as kill the, slay the warlord, line breaker and first blood. Uh, so quickly scout across the battlefield. So yeah, um, looking across the battlefield we'll need to move into the no man's land if we look to seize victory. Um, both small armies are on play on both ends. Uh, this little section here is uh, affected by hazardous radiation, uh, a result of the byproducts of the uh, industrial waste being poured in. Um, so it's so bad that even uh, the power armor of space marines and chaos space marines will not protect them from it. Anyone in that zone uh, from turn two will uh, need to roll a dice to check if they take a mortal wound. So we'll look into that a bit more if it happens. Otherwise, uh, we're all prepped and ready to go. Um, armies deployed on both sides. Crimson Slaughter taking first turn. Um, so we'll kick into that. But before we do, we'll take a closer look at the armies that we'll be playing with today. 50 power level of Crimson Slaughter Chaos Space Marines led by a Terminator Sorcerer Lord with a uh, Combi Bolter and a Four Staff. A 10 man Chaos Space Marine squad with bolt guns, uh, special weapons there, heavy bolter plasma gun, uh, leader with power axe. A 5 man Terminator squad with uh, Reaper Auto Cannon, Combi Bolters, uh, Force Axe, Power Axe. A Forge Fiend with two Reaper Auto Cannons, uh, and quite thinly for this battle, uh, wreckage of a Stormfang gunship. So, is that foretelling things to come? Who knows? And a mighty Chaos Land Raider with two twin LAS cannons, heavy bolter, havoc missile launcher, got the works there. Mwah. And 52 power level mm -hmm. of Space Wolves, uh, led by a Primaris battle leader um, with a Frost Axe and Bolt Rifle and a Space Wolf Librarian, what they call Rune Priest, with uh, Full Staff and the Baby. Five man Primaris Intercessors uh, with Bolt Rifles, a five man Grey Hunter squad with four Bolt Guns and one plasma gun. A six man long fang squad with frost claws, multi mounter, rocket launcher, las cannon, plasma cannon, heavy bolter. A redemptor dreadnought, um, which looks like it's that easy to build one, very static pose, um, but believe it or not, 
it was it is that multi posed one. Um, you know, good work. It's got that big what is that? Like an assault cannon type thing. Fists, little gun somewhere, rocket launcher up the top. And as per <coughs> usual, uh heavily over costed unit for a friendly fifty power level game. Storm fan gunship, it has the Hellfrost destructor, two multi mounters, and two um Storm Spear Missiles or something like that. Um, yeah, fresh. End of movement phase for the Crimson Slaughter turn one. Um, Land Raider racing up the line down the road. Right to the heart of the uh, enemy deployment zone. Um, Demon engines turning, twin last cannons ready to fire. Um, the Forge Fiend has stepped forward with him as well, and the Chaos Space Marines will stay here uh, and hold this objective in the Fortress of Corruption. Still yet to be painted, been pretty busy. Uh, but we're going into the shooting phase now. Alright, so my Forge Fiend um, already, as evidenced by its base, an enemy of the Space Wolves. He has landed seven hits against the Long Fangs up here. Uh, Use the Demon Forge Stratagem. Uh, so rolling for wound, strength 8, toughness 4. So 2's to wound, reroll failed thanks to Demon Forge. Not required, 7 wounds. Um, minus 1 AP, so they get plus 1. So 3 up saves, 7 3 up saves. Is that 7 dots? Mm -hmm. Two dead. Bad point. Oh. Ooh. Two dead still. Uh, I think what dead? The Wolfguard Terminator Pack Leader has two oh, yeah. Uh Land Raider firing two twin LAS cannons into the Stormfang gunship. Minus one's hit as it's a flyer, so we've got four shots hitting on fives. One hit. Strength nine. Toughness, so threes to wound. Command point to re-roll that one. That's a wound, and that is minus three, I believe it goes straight three. Or is that a six up? Six up. Six up, all right. Also, uh, team, the return of the golden dice. Uh, off the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, six. That's D6 damages. D6. Command point, re roll. No, you already used one. Oh, two. already two. Two. Alright. Down to what? 12. Alright, fine. So, end of the turn for the Crimson Slaughter Space Marines. Uh, turn one. Um, took out two of the long fangs. Um, they're mix and match weapons anyway. Uh, so not too much of a concentrated threat. Uh, took off two wounds off the uh, gunship. So see what happens. We're remembering that this is a radiation zone. Um, so vehicles uh, and Adeptus Mechanicus units aren't affected by it. Um, so it's going to make it more of a challenge to come into this zone and capture that spot. Uh, remembering as well that I've got my Terminators up in orbit ready to teleport down to the battlefield. Um, when needed. Um, but yeah, quick first turn, we'll go into Space Wolves turn one. End of movement phase for the Space Wolves turn one. Um, a lot of standing still there. The um, Grey Hunters down here moving up behind the pipeline, uh, followed by the Primaris Battle Leader and the Rune Priest. Dreadnoughts stomping out back around that furnace and the gunship as well flying across looking to get into close combat. He's got a, his pick of options here to choose from. So go straight into our psychic phase I believe. Storm fan gunship firing focus beam Hellfrost destructor into the Forge Fiend. Three shots on threes. Looking for twos. Strength seven. Oh, toughness seven. Strength eight. So threes to wound. Oh. Come back, 
point. Okay, one point for sure. Two hits. Minus four. Alright, got some demon vulnerable saves. You're on to four command points. Alright, two demonic and vulnerable saves. Five ups against the Hellfrost Destructor. Looking for fives and sixes. Why? Coming my way. Why? Five and six. Uh, nothing. 2d6 damages. Once. Oh, 12. Oh, he might be dead. Yeah, he's got 12 wounds. He's gone. Does he explode? No, he doesn't. Shit. That's bad luck. End of the turn for the Space Wolves. Turn one in this Frontline Warfare Eternal War mission. Um, very successful for them. Um, lucky dice rolls on wounding managed to wipe out the uh, Forge Fiend in one go. Would you believe it? You wouldn't if I didn't capture it on camera. Crazy. Crazy. Um, giving my opponent first blood, so he's uh, up one victory point over myself. Um, also managed to knock off seven wounds off the Land Raider as well. So took a beating. Luckily, that's still in its first weapon profile. Um, in terms of ob objective holding, it's even Stevens. Uh, but my opponent on that one extra victory point for first blood uh, shifts things in his favor. So we'll go on to the Crimson Slaughter turn two and see what they can do. All right, final. so end of the movement phase for the Crimson Slaughter turn one. Um, the Terminator Sorcerer Lord and the Terminator Rignew have dropped down behind enemy lines. Um, remember a game where we held back too late with these guys and they came in too late to do anything? So this big beastie is going to be tearing up the battlefield with its heavy firepower. Um... So we need to go and chop up their back lines while they're away. Um, unleash some sorceress might as well. Um, across their land raiders crossed up into the radiation zone on nine wounds left. And dudes up there staying back holding their position. But they'll be able to shoot in on the gunship now. So we'll see if they can hopefully pierce off a few wounds. Um, but we're going to the psychic phase first and then into shooting. So we're going to use our smite and that'll be going into the long fangs there. So 2d6 looking for a 5. So it goes off on a 7. My opponent's going to attempt to deny it. So he's looking for 8 or higher. Got to 7 so it's equal. Uh, so it goes off and d3 worms. Denies it. Uh, then I'm going to cast Prescience. Uh, goes off on a 7. Uh, goes off, so adds 1 to hit rolls for my Terminators. Um, so we'll go into the shooting phase next. Alright, so the Terminators wiped out uh, 3 of the guys back here at the cost of, um, yeah, managed to survive that last shot. So what I'm going to do is spend a command point on the Demon Shell Stratagem. Um, so he's going to take a single shot. It's going to land on a three. If it lands, then this thing suffers D3 mortal wounds and is instantly dead. If it doesn't, then I suffer D3 mortal wounds. So I'm going to make it a pact with the Dark Gods, looking to claim a soul. And if no soul is claimed, then he's going to be turned upon. So looking for a three to hit and that thing's dead. Oh, command point to re-roll. Can't use a command point after using a command point for the yeah, You can. Yeah, it's trickery. There we go. Bloody trickery. That thing's dead. Luckily. Trickery. Dice haven't been on my side. Um, but that one's dead. So that's second blood. If that was such a rule. Uh, go in and continue the rest of the shooting phase. Alright, fine. So end of the turn for the Crimson Slaughter turn. Two, um, quick survey across the industrial zone on Atreus. Um, this guy killed one Grey Hunter. 
He's making his 19 power level back. Um, not going too well. I've had some bad dice rolls. My opponent's had some good dice rolls, but that's the way of Warhammer 40k. Um, he's currently holding that objective, though. Um, but for how much longer? I guess we'll find out. These boys here, if you think about it, like it took 25 shots and two stratagems to kill, kill four grey hunt, uh, four long fangs. So not too economic, but at least they're behind enemy enemy lines and in control of this objective. But again, all that stuff's calculated at the end of the game. Um, so we'll see what happens. Space Wolves turn two. Um, what moves they can do. Opponent's still one up on that one victory point. Who's your um, warlord? Wolf leader, cool. Uh, there's his warlord there. Heldor Ice Pelt. Uh, we'll go into Space Wolves turn two. In a movement phase for the Space Wolves, the gunship moving well into Crimson Slaughter territory um, on this frontline warfare mission. Um, the Grey Hunters have swapped the other sides of the pipeline to hide behind, uh, followed by their leaders, Redemptor Dread, heading over that way towards the Fortress of Corruption, newly acquired two weeks ago. Um, and these boys still staying still. Um, don't know what they're up to. Going into the Psychic Phase, see what shenanigans this Rune Priest wants to unleash. All right, Fano, so end of Psychic Phase. Uh, a small camera malfunction, but it is now back to full health there, thankfully. Um, bit of trickery, dishonorable combat, a few cheeky smites going off to uh, bring my mighty land raider down to five wounds. Let's see if he can weather the storm about to come his way. A space wolf storm going into the shooting phase, turn two. All right, so my opponent is out of command points. Um, he's landed one hit with the Hellfrost Destructor. So remember, two hits with the Hellfrost Destructor were enough to wipe out a full health Forge Fiend. This land rate is on five. I'm pretty nervous. Um, eight to eight, so fours to wound. Fours to wound. Minus three. Minus three. Oh, sorry, minus four. Minus four. Six up save. No invulnerables on the land raider. Six up. Nope. D6. Five wins left. One. Roll a one. Four. Ho 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 ho. Storm strike missile launcher. That's enough. I just need one. Um, he's going to fire his launch, uh, missile launcher. One shot of a three. Hit. Strength eight. Eight. Fours. Yes. Uh, Twin multi melters. Four shots. He's firing everything. Two hits. Eight to eight. Fours. One hit. Minus four. Six up. No. He's dead. No. Oh, one wound, yeah. <laughs> Shit. D6 wounds. Uh, D6 explode. No, it does not explode. Ah, oh, man, this thing did nothing, really. Sad. I'm getting blown off the battlefield there. All right, final end of the turn for the Space Wolves turn two. Land Raiders wiped out. Um, Redempt the Dreadnought. Took down six of the Chaos Space Marines wow. secured here. I think that'll be all right. The leadership eight. Yeah. Wait a minute. Three plus one. Four. Minus six. Oh, they lose two. Wait, let me check morale. Um, so the Chaos Space Marines rolling a, a leadership morale check for them. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. They're gone. 
wiped off the off the face of the earth. Um, I think they've got like an end they shall know no fear rule, but the evil side of that. <laughs> All right, fine. So um, summarizing end of Space Wolf's turn. These guys, um, no tricks or anything. In fact, they're leadership seven, not leadership eight. So they're wiped off the battlefield. Um, this guy stomping his way forward. These guys hiding out here. And the humble Chaos Space Marines, the last, the Terminators, the last units I have on the battlefield. Um, so we'll see what they can do, what they can do to take back the game. This is where four of my opponents got first blood. Um, but there's Lion Breaker, Slay the Warlord up for grabs. So we could seize victory. It's looking unlikely, but we'll do the best we can. So stay with us. Uh, we'll go into Crimson Slaughter, turn three. All right, so the Terminators have moved forward to secure this mining platform and secure my enemy's objective. Uh, we're going to attempt to cast Smite onto the Grey Hunters there. Goes off on a five. Boom, goes off eight. It's gonna attempt to deny that. And does not go off. D3 mortal wounds into the Grey Hunters. Three, three instantly wiped off the face mm -hmm. of the planet. Last, lastly for psychic phase, casting infernal gaze onto that lone grey hunter, uh, going off on a five. Goes off, uh, roll three dice, and um, for each roll of a four plus, uh, opponent suffers a mortal wound. Two mortal wounds. That is dead. That's a unit wiped. Great work. So 10 free up saves required by Haldor Ice Pelt, veteran of um, many battles, including the, the Fate uh, Battle for Ithaca system uh, from my 2018 battle reports. Go check those out. 10 free ups. He's got five wins here. Oh, he's failed one. He's failed two. He's failed three. He's yeah, six three. wounds. Six wounds. He's got three left now. Reaper auto cannon firing in next. Uh, he's landed four hits. Strength seven, toughness four. So threes for wound. Three wounds. One, two, three. Minus one AP. And last trick of the game, the demon shell. Um, that same magical bullet loading up to hit Heldor. Um, land on a three, it's good. Not a three, it's gone. This is my last command point, so I won't have the chance to re-roll it like last time. Let's see what happens. Woo! Uh, wait, you got two wounds, hey? Yep. Does D3 mortal wounds. Three up. Yep. It's gone. Yeah, he's gone. And that slay the warlord to myself, so that puts me currently. I've got one victory point. My opponent's got one for slay the warlord. Um, I'm also holding his objective. He's holding none. So right now, two three gives me victory. Um, but my opponent going to space wolves turn three. See what they will do. All right, in the movement phase for the Space Wolves turn three. Uh, very close game at the moment. Um, Intercessors finally making a move, looking to head in towards the radiation zone uh, in this abandoned industrial outpost. Uh, Stormfang gunship racing forward, multi melters ready, Hellfrost Destructor, all the works loaded up to fire into these guys. Redemptor has made a surprising U-turn and moved to capture this objective, picking up two command victory points. And the Rune Priest is heading towards the Fortress of Corruption, uh, advancing as well. So he's moving out. Can't deny any smites that I may cast off, um, but he's looking to get those four um, victory points from capturing my objective. He's got a bit of a walk to go. 
but we'll put all our faith in him and see what happens. Hey, 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 don't. Look, look, look at this guy. I'm just saying if you could see, no, you you're get it. trying to move, move your guy. No, I wasn't. Cut I was actually saying if you could cut see. It the window. Cut, I was cut it out. Cut it out. So I said, just cut it out. Where'd you get? Into uh, the shooting face. All right, fine. So we tanked the health rush destructive, uh, destructive ray with a five up and vulnerable. Storm strike missiles require another two five ups. Oh, there's my old five up there. Let's go. Another two. Blech! Oh, one. One dead. one dead. Three damage. One minute. Oh, flat three. Flat three. All right, one dead. And you got the multi melters left, eh? Yes, sir. Save the game. Four multi melters into the loyal terminators. Chaos gods protect. Five up. Back. Ah! Three. That's cocked. That's not cocked. That's cocked. That's not cocked. Balance the dice on it then. I will balance the dice on it. Look at this. This guy, he's, he's, he's rubbing his eyes. If you could see what I could see, he's balance rubbing his eyes in disbelief. But you can't because it's cocked. See, it's oh, cocked. You're dishonorable. It's cocked. There, that's right. Two, uh, 2d6. 2d6 damages? Yep. No, you roll 2d6 and pick the... It's d6 damage for both hits. And you pick the highest. Yeah, so I roll four dice. No, so roll two first for the first one, because if you roll double ones... Oh, that, that's one, so one wound. Two damage, it's d6. Oh, yeah, dead. Yeah. And another one? Yeah, okay, two more dead. All right, so that's the gunship done, but we save more than expecting. All right, so end of Space Wolves turn three. Um, we have three Terminators left, one with one wound. Terminator Sorcerer Lord still alive and kicking. Nothing, yeah, that's all I've got left. He's running on his way back to the fortress. Uh, so we're gonna go into the Crimson Slaughter turn four and see if they can do anything to achieve victory. All right, so not making any movements for the Crimson Slaughter, they're gonna stay still. Gonna launch straight into a smite. This guy's too far away to deny. Going off, looking for a six and a five. Oh, that's a 10, that's a big D6 smitey. Right there. Yo, D6, looking for a six. Six! Ah! Yo! Down to five. Boom, boom, boom. And he's gonna cast that other one that does mortal wounds. All right, and continuing that, we're gonna cast Infernal Gaze onto the gunship, going off on a five. It goes off on a 10. And we roll three dice, every roll of a four plus. Four plus? Four plus stuff is a mortal wound. Triple sixes. One mortal wound. So he's down to four. Um, and let's go into Crimson Slaughter shooting phase on turn four. All right, firing two combi melter shots into the gunship and four regular combi bolters. Um, hitting on threes. Oh, everything except one bolter shot hit. Combi melter is strength eight. Two, seven, I believe. So three's from the black dice, five's from the green. Three from black, five on green. So one wound on the combi melter, um, and that is AP minus four. Straight through? Yeah. Cool. Uh, and one um, regular wound, no AP onto it. So do a three up save, I think. Made it. And uh, we are inflicting D6 damages. Let me just check the range if it's in melter range. Combi melter into that, it's landed, it's wound. We're rolling D6 damages, it has four wounds left. So we just need a four. Ah, oh. D6 
down a one. Not to worry though, we do have the um, Reaper Auto Cannon ready to fire in as well. Reaper Auto Cannon, four shots on threes. Three hits. Strength seven, toughness seven. Force to wound. One wound, AP minus one. Four up, four up save. Three up save there, so it fails. And he's got, you got no command point. Blow up. Does he blow up on a six? He does not blow up, but we have done it. We have destroyed the Stormfang gunship. Uh, and that is a five point victory points for me. What? Ever? Uh, but that's going to end turn number four. Uh, so we're going to Space Wolves turn four now. All right, final. So we're going to call the game there. Um, just a quick tally of the points. These guys move six, um, can advance as well. And we've got two more turns left. This guy's going to be immovable off there and he's going to easily get up there by the next turn. So that'll put him on no matter what one victory point above me. If he did not get first blood, then it would have changed things slightly. Um, but yeah, what a shame. All right, fine. So we're going to call it a game there. Um, just doing some quick mathematical calculations. These guys are going to get into that. I'm not going to be able to knock the Redemptor off, and um, the Rune Priest is easily going to make it on there by the next turn. So no matter what I do, I'm not going to do anything to secure or my victory or change the outcome of this battle. Um, so I'm going to concede defeat here. Um, he may have won the battle, but they have not won the war. Um, so the frontline warfare mission ends in success for the Space Wolves, the Sons of Lemon Russ. Um, pretty close game though. I think the biggest thing for me was losing that Hades, uh, the Forge Fiend um, on turn one. Um, no one was expecting that, even my opponent, surely. Um, but yeah, it changed the, the, the way of the rest of the battle, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that battle there, Fano. Um, in this in ruined Imperial City using the war zone, um, Mega Borealis from the Vigilus Defiant campaign book, um, adding a bit more extra flavor to the battle. Um, next week, make sure you tune in as the Space Wolves and the Crimson Slaughter go through another rematch. Um, and there will be some prizes, some success for their victory in this battle. Uh, adding that narrative flavor, helping enhance the quality of my battle reports. Um, you know, new terrain, new locations, new um, new rules and, and narrative fluff help enhance it, take it from boring battle report to good battle report, as well as having painted quality models. Well, I mean, it's a painted model, this one. There's a bit more quality, but, you know, we all start from somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this battle final. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Subscribe to the, my channel if you haven't already and uh, share this video with your family or your friends um, Also comment if you've noticed any rules errors anything you'd like to point out uh, Always looking to learn and grow from each battle um, So yeah, I'd love to hear from you, but make sure you tune in next week uh, Space Wars versus Crimson Slaughter mission number two. I am your humble host the Maldi Wargamer New Zealand's number one Thank you for watching. Kakite. Oh no.